hello friends and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for today's video today i will be sharing my makeup collection and beauty room with you don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into today's video so this is an overview of the side of my beauty room area and i'm going to take you through my makeup storage and my makeup organization and just my makeup collection in general but I wanted to give you an overview of how it looks like before I get into the items and my entire collection. So let's go ahead and get started with my makeup collection. So this is the top area of this kind of drawer organizer. And let's go through this. So we're gonna start off with this side. On this side, I have my blush palettes, my highlighter palettes, and I just put everything right here over top because it's easier for me to see and easier for me to kind of think about looks that I wanna create for you all. So like, for example, this is a Tarte palette that I've had for quite a while now. I also have the Jaclyn blush palette right here. I have this Laura Geller uh, dripping in gold highlighting palette, which looks like that. So that's what I have on this little section right here. I have all my eyeshadow palettes here. Different brands are all mixed, a drugstore and some high end that I have gotten throughout the years. I still have some room to grow and to add more palettes to my collection. But that's just an overview we get over here we have some more palettes right here and then these three that are right here in the back those are actually like contour palettes like the one i featured in my newest video this next palette so yeah these are more like contour palettes. basically anything that is palette format i have it up here just so that it's easier for me to see and i can actually create looks with different products instead of just using the same things over and over again now we're gonna move down to this section right here and this is very clean right now because i cleaned it for the video so i have this little rotating thing um, that i got at target i will link it down below if i can still find it this is amazing i have all my setting sprays in here i just love it because i just rotate it and it's ready to go and i can just use the setting spray i want for that day right here behind i just have some clean brushes then i have this little jar that i got at dollar tree i just have some little q-tips in there in case i need them to clean up some makeup then we're going to move down to this area right here in this area i just have one of my impressions mirror and then i have this little container where i have the brushes that i need to clean so i have this in there i don't know if you've all seen this but it's like a brush color swap pad where you just clean off your brushes really quickly while you're doing a makeup tutorial these are amazing but i need to actually wash mine so I have these just to store things that I don't have time to go through right now. So that's what those are for, but no makeup in there. Then we move on to this next one and I have this cute little wooden bin. And this is just all makeup that is new makeup or that I need to film with or create a look with. Um, anything that I buy that is newer, I will usually put in this area so that I know that I haven't filmed with it and I need to create a look. So yeah, basically these two are used for that if this gets to the point that it's overflowing with new makeup i'll just add some more over here but i have to have it somewhere so i know i need to use it and create a video trying out new makeup because you all know i love to do that in my channel now we get to this area right here and let me go through it i'm sorry about the dirty sponges first of all but these are my sponges that i have here to use when i'm doing tutorials in this first one, I have all my concealers. Then I have all my foundations in this one. Then if we move to this one, I have just some powders. I have more drugstore powders right here. And then I have my bronzers. So kind of my base items right here because I like to keep them close to my area so that I know where they're at and I get to them really quickly. I really like this container. I got it at TJ Maxx. It's awesome, really good quality. Then I recently added these four right here because I, I had them somewhere else and I didn't need them in that area anymore. So I'm like, let me take them to my beauty room. So here I just have some Stila liquid eyeshadows right here. 
I have some more Stila liquid eyeshadows, a MAC a single eyeshadow, and some e.l.f. liquid eyeshadows. On this next one, I just have some other cream-based eyeshadows and my trusty sharpener. And on this last one, I just have some lip balms. But yeah, these little containers actually are separate. They're not that great quality. They're all from the Dollar Tree, but they're really cute because if you want, you can actually glue them down together so they don't move. But I don't have them glued because they fit perfectly here but i just wanted to use them and they fit nicely with the rest of my acrylic organizers moving on to this area i just have my mirror that i use every single day when i record any makeup tutorials that's my mirror that i use right here at the top i just have a little container that has my most used items like scissors to cut my my lashes my fake lashes um lash adhesive my lash curler all of that good stuff and right here i have all my lip glosses i really like this drawer because it's my drugstore lip gloss drawer this is my more high-end lip gloss drawer and these are lip glosses that are no longer available so i try not to use those on camera because i always want to use things that you can actually get yourself and pick up if you're interested moving down in this little area i just have lip masks so this is my lip mask container right there. In this next one, I have some mini liquid lipsticks from different brands. Right here, I have way more liquid lipsticks. These are my high-end lipsticks right here. These right here are all my MAC lipsticks, the good old MAC lipsticks. I've had them forever. And right here at the bottom, I have some affordable lipsticks that I've had. And we're gonna move on to this one basically have a lot of blushes almost everything in here is affordable for example my nyx blush my believe beauty cream blush my elf blushes milani revlon so it's more of my affordable blush area and newer blushes that are still available and i can share with you all the next one right here has my highlighter palette so these are more affordable things like believe beauty wet and wild and then in the back i have more of my high-end ones like bobby brown mac cosmetics and laura geller that's about it for that area See below this there's this little section right here and i have some stuff in there stored so i'm going to show you so this first drawer is kind of miscellaneous it just has some hand lotion some hand sanitizer and something to clean my glasses with another uh body butter i guess i don't know it's just random and then i have a palette and things that i don't use right next up right here this is my lash drawer and i don't have many lashes i'm slowly building my collection but these are the lashes that i do have this next drawer right here let me talk to you about this drawer <laughs> this is my old what i call my old school drawer so back in the day i used to purchase a lot of high-end makeup but as the drugstore progressed and started carrying a lot of very great affordable makeup i stopped buying high-end makeup so here are just some of my high-end makeup items that i still have in my collection which of course include the becca highlights you have some mac cosmetics highlights right here you have some dose of colors more MAC cosmetics, some blushes that are maybe a little bit older as well. some setting powders right there, and then just some items that are kind of older I really don't use. So yeah, basically this drawer is just items that I'm really not gravitating towards right now, um, but I still have them here because they're still good in my opinion, so I don't wanna get rid of them. They're still here, and I like these little containers, the clear containers at the bottom, they're three, because I got them at Dollar Tree, a dollar each amazing I absolutely love this drawer i can't get rid of these things yet some of them are not high end but they're just things that you cannot get anymore so i keep them in this drawer my next drawer carries some of my extras so in this drawer all i have are extra products of my favorite things such as the epic ink liner my tinted brown mascara this elf retro paradise set that i love my mad cosmetics powder my L'Oreal foundation, my e.l.f. sponges. All of these are just products that I really enjoy and I have backups of in case I run out of the ones I have in my collection. In this last drawer, I have some brow shapers. I have some eye masks and some facial masks behind there. This remover uh, kit right there. I have my brush cleaner right there and some little accessories. I wanted to share that with you 
basically an overview of my entire makeup collection. I really did stop buying makeup a while back, but as I restarted my channel, I started buying new makeup, so I'm now excited to grow my collection. But this is my overall collection so far. Then we're gonna move to my makeup table. It's actually a desk. I got this at Walmart a long time ago, but it's so pretty. So my dad actually got me this uh, piece of glass to go at the top so it doesn't get my desk dirty, which I absolutely adore. But right here in front of me are the things that I use the most. So I have them in these little containers that I got at TJ Maxx. So I have some lip liners. I have my e.l.f. concealers because you know those are my favorite concealers. I have some more lip liners right here. I have some of my eye pencils or eyeliners. I have a few mascaras, my brow products, and then some more liquid eyeliners. And then right here I have the current brushes that I'm using. I need to change out these jars. These are just the things I have for it. But I really wanted one of these to put my brushes that I'm using on a daily basis but I can't find an, another one at TJ Maxx. So till then, I'm just gonna keep these little containers here because they serve the purpose and I don't wanna get rid of them yet until I have something now, new. Now, this I'm not gonna open because this is just a lot of mess. I didn't clean that one because this is just used for like office supplies. But this one is my primer drawer. So we're gonna start with this section right here. I just have some brushes that are clean, some eye brushes. I have some of my clips to put my hair back. I have a Bare Minerals Compact that I really love, but it's almost gone. Just a few little creams right here. And right here in this section, I have all my primers. So this is basically all primers. So this is just an overview of my makeup collection. I know I may not have a lot of products, but my collection is growing slowly and I really am enjoying this uh, part of my journey through my YouTube channel and my Instagram and all of that. This is just an overview of my beauty room and what I currently have in my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like to see what I have in my collection. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I am so, so glad to answer any of your questions. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so, so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, friends.